have a theory. It's a crazy one, but I, I do have a theory. But for me to tell you what my theory is, I first need to introduce you to a concept that maybe some of you are familiar with, maybe some of you aren't. So first you want to notice that Macba, every character, has a shadow, right? And this shadow can act in peculiar ways at times. Um, for example, if I were to go up to this object over here, you would find that my shadow kind of goes inside the object a bit. You know, it kind of crawls up the object. And there are numerous places where if you're standing below something, then your shadow will be above said thing. Um, for example, you can even see here, my shadow is visible even though it's going through the building. Another property of the shadow is that it doesn't follow you if there's no ground below you, right? If I, like, there's no ground here, it's just a depth plane, um, so the shadow doesn't follow me. But as soon as I go over ground again, then it teleports right below me. But there are a couple levels, uh, one in particular, Starry Sky, where this doesn't happen. Your shadow will just disappear. This has led me to the belief that perhaps there is ground down here. It sounds crazy, but what if there is? What if there is ground below the death plane? And that is where the shadow is going to. That's why it's not getting caught on the ledge like in every other, not every other, but in most other levels, like in the ocean. The question is, if that is the case, can we get there? How could we bypass the death plane? I have exactly one theory on how this could work, and testing it could be difficult, it could take a long time, but it might be worth it for the research. So first I want to introduce you to an interesting little concept that has to do with the FPS glitch, and it has to do with as well, so you'll notice this is another level where it doesn't happen, so perhaps it's it's similar there. So if you're falling, or if you're coming down a ramp, and you press the home menu, you go through the ramp. And this is because of your downward, and partially forward, um, speed uh, that, that lets you do it. Because on one frame, you know, it thinks, oh, you have the speed here on one frame, to be like behind it but on the next frame you have the speed to go here because your downward speed that you get from the wind box on the slope is multiplied when you do the home menu glitch and we can prove this without the fence you see how much more distance i get in that small amount of time when i do the home menu glitch macbat basically teleports and this works with vertical momentum it does not seem to work with horizontal momentum check this out i can't run through the fence if it's flat and this applies if you play as tasty as well it doesn't matter how much speed you have you have to have downward speed too this is really useful to us because the death plane is on the bottom of the level so perhaps the theory would be that you have to get really high up, hit a really high velocity, of which I'm not sure that there is a terminal velocity. It seems like you just gain downward speed forever, but that could be wrong. But you can get to really high downward speeds, then you would hit the home menu right before the death plane and hope and pray that that accelerates you down fast enough. That it would accelerate you down fast enough to pass the death plane entirely. Could this ever work? Honestly, I'm gonna go with no. I'm super skeptical that it could. But if we wanted it to, this would be the level to do it on. You would get the speed, you would get the upward speed from the wind tunnel. You would fall down using gravity to gain more speed and then you would time the home menu glitch perfectly to skip over the death plane. This would work this would likely work if the death plane was thin so that we could go through it pretty easily but we don't know what the death plane looks like it could be this really thick 
barrier that is just impossible to gain enough speed to pass through. Or maybe it's still super thin and we can't gain enough speed to, to pass through because we don't have enough knowledge about the game to do that. Which is why I'm posting this video. I want people to help me come up with ideas. I want people to maybe try it out. I'm going to be trying it out because I think this is a cool idea. But if I'm being honest, I'm not hopeful. I don't think that we're going to find any. Thank you for watching. This has been Lily talking about Tori 3D for the millionth time.